All right, let's jump into the Q&A board. And we have Miss Hurricane as our first victim. And I'm just kidding about victim, <laughs> our store. All right, the question is, uh, Miss Hurricane says, question, I started chatting with the guy I hadn't met in person, but he kind of ghosted and popped back up and told me his mom passed away, but he didn't kind of distance and I don't know what to do. Okay, great question. So this happens frequently when we're communicating. So most people these days are meeting through an online connection. Most people these days are meeting through an online connection. So what happens is we're connecting through the internet and most of our communication is either emails, text messaging or text messaging or telephone calls. And so in these cases where you begin chatting with someone, it is very common to get distracted in your personal life with, you know, on whatever is happening in one's personal life and disengage in communication. The reality is, is most of the time we are meeting total strangers. We have no familiarity whatsoever. And let me just tell you something. This is as a man looking at women's profiles, and I know women feel the same way. Most of the dating profiles these days are a fucking piece of shit. I'm sorry. The crap that's put out there, you ladies do the stupid Snapchat filters and you do the, you know, the, you know, the sushi plate you just ate and you show a picture of the mountains because it's so important. I see that you love the mountains. I mean, it's so important that I know about that. Look, folks, dating profiles should be crisp, clear photographs of oneself. That's it. Crisp, clear photographs of yourself. Headshots, body shots. So the, the problem is, is most of the time when I'm communicating with someone, I'm like, fuck, I don't know if I'm going to like, if I'm going to be attracted to this person. So I give minimal amount of effort. And what happened in this case, most likely, is he wasn't enamored with your profile. Doesn't mean that there couldn't be that there. Let me repeat that. There might, there was certainly something that made him want to communicate, but I'm telling you, Men only ghost when they're feeling doubt, when they only ghost or disappear in communication before you ever meet. Most of the time, it's because your profile isn't stellar enough to hook them to go, wow, I want to meet this person. Folks, online dating, your profile should look so fucking wow that it makes the, you should have thousands of men wanting to go out with you. That's how your profile should look. And I got to tell you something. I search through profiles every day and I see a wow out of one out of every thousand of women. Now, I'd like to think I put together a wow of my own. I don't know, but I'd like to think I did that because I'm seeking a woman that wants to put a great presentation of herself. But Jonathan, I shouldn't have to sell myself online. Yes, you do. This is your only, look at folks. The days of meeting organically is becoming harder and harder and harder. The reality is, is in the future, 98, 75 to 80% of all first dates are going to happen through an online connection. We are on that path. So you have a choice. If you wanted to get a job, let's think about it this way. If you wanted a job with, let's say, I'm going to pick Richard Branson, a very successful, supposedly a nice guy. If you wanted his a job with his company and you were emailing him, wouldn't you put together the best resume ever? Wouldn't you want your resume to look better than every other person's resume out there? Sadly, most people put shit for their dating profiles and garbage in is garbage is what you're going to get. So you wonder why it's a clusterfuck out there. The problem isn't the online dating sites. The problem is people. And I'm talking to you people right there because 999 of you women have shitty profiles. And if you need support with that, check out a link below. You can schedule a call with me to review your profile so I can tell you how fucking shitty it is. All right. So going back to what do you do in this case? Look at you reach out to him and just recognize that this is the fact of the most important thing. Use my formula three, two, one, three, three, two, one, three. All right. You got it. Three email exchanges or text message exchanges should lead to one or two phone calls and two one or two phone calls should lead to one date and this should all happen in a three week period of time. If you're not meeting someone within three weeks or less, the likelihood of success begins to diminish. 
But Jonathan, it's a long distance. Yeah, long distance relationships are a clusterfuck to begin with. They, it, the, there's the exception to the rule, but most of them don't work out because you don't, you don't either, your lifestyle, you don't have a plan of how to taking the long distance into short distance. So my rule of thumb, three, two, one, three, only communicate with someone if you can get to meet them in three weeks, go from a three email exchanges, two phone calls, one date all in three weeks. That's my invitation. And if you can't do it, then focus on people that can. All right. That's my my rant. I hope you got value from that, Miss Hurricane. Thank you so much. <laughs>